Today we're going to be talking about the basic training packing list, what to bring, what not to bring, but without further ado, let's get to it. What is up guys, Van Allen back again with another video and like I just said, we're going to be talking about the basic training packing list, right? What to bring, what not to bring. I do want to just start off this video and save y'all some time, right? If you want to see like my full summarized version of the packing list, just skip to the end of the video. It's probably going to be like around the 13, 14, 15 minute mark. I'm not sure yet, right? But around there, the, the full thing will be towards the end. I'll, I'll make a little chapter for it if I need to. Uh, and I also want to say, do not stress a lot about the basic training packing list. It's not that serious. It's not that big of a deal. Um, half the shit you bring, if you do bring the whole packing list, you're not even gonna use it basic training and you're gonna have the opportunity to buy things there. But we'll hit on all this and more in the video. But yeah, I reached out to my Discord and I asked some of them, hey, what do you guys recommend you take to basic training for the packing list? And these are from individuals that just went through basic training within like the last six months or so. I even asked a drill sergeant who's in my discord what he recommends that these new recruits bring to basic training from the packing list so stay tuned for his answer at the end when i read off from my discord the various responses that i got uh, but we're gonna go ahead and touch on why less is more on the packing list and that'll make sense in a bit but before we jump into it guys be sure to like this video so it pushes out to a larger audience be sure to subscribe if you're not already uh background on me i did four years active duty as a 68 whiskey i got out of active duty did a year and a half in the reserves so i have the active duty knowledge the reserve knowledge and if i don't have the knowledge people in my discord do feel free to join it, it the link is down below in the description box there's over 400 people that can help answer y'all's questions and if you just want to support me further feel free to follow me on my Instagram at the Ben Allen but like I was saying guys uh, earlier less is more for basic training and what I mean by this is when you get to reception when you get to basic training right your actual like basic training company whatever you're, wherever you're gonna be at they're, they're probably going to do a shark attack slash smoke session, right? And part of that shark attack smoke session includes checking out your gear, right? Seeing what you brought, making sure you don't have any contraband, this, that, or the other, right? They're going to make you take your bags that you brought, right? Whether it's a duffel, a backpack, whatever, and they're going to make you dump it out put everything like on the floor, scatter it around, and then they're gonna make you put it all back in your bag. And they're probably gonna make you repeat that process two, three, four, five times. They made us do that for sure. Uh, and the more stuff you bring, the longer it's gonna take you to repack your bag. You probably don't like have the efficiency of packing yet that you're gonna learn in basic training. Don't worry, the army will teach you how to pack a bag. I promise you that. Um, and as well as packing your bag and taking forever, if you have a lot of stuff, they're probably gonna make you hold your bags above your head for however long, right? Maybe they'll be like, oh, pack your bags. And once you finish packing your bag, hold your bag over your head. And then you're gonna have to wait for everybody else to finish packing their bags, stuff like that. And you know, if you packed a lot of shit, your bag's gonna be heavy and you're gonna be hurting, man. And if you drop it, they're gonna make you do push ups, they're gonna yell at you. Uh, so less is more, right? You don't need to take, you know, a blanket. You don't need to take a bunch of hoodies. You don't need to take a week's worth of clothes. You don't need any of that stuff, guys. I'm telling you right now, it is. You just don't need it, right? There's very specific items that should be brought to basic training, right? One being like your important documents, right? Maybe you need your social, your birth certificate, stuff like that for anything you might be going through uh, at reception, you know, your financial stuff, uh, maybe like your bank account written down uh, for when you go to the finance portion of reception to get that set up, you know, just keep it in a nice manila envelope, right? Uh, write your name on it, all that stuff. So if you lose it, you know, it's there. Uh, another thing that's very important to take the basic training that's probably one of the few items you do need are just like hygiene items uh, and that's pretty much like deodorant, a toothbrush, and toothpaste. Those go a long way, right? Because it might be a little bit of time before you go to the shop at a basic training. And I'll touch on that in a second, right? Um, another thing to take is a good razor. If you're a male, uh, I recommend that just because if you're going to be buying the you know single blade disposable razors, those are pretty rough on your face, not going to lie. And if you're, you're shaving every day, you have to shave every day at basic training. Even if you can't grow facial hair, you got to shave. Um, and so those tear away at your face uh, after, a, after a while. Uh, so a good razor is something you should bring i highly recommend that uh for women uh i hear i hear now they're recommending that you bring your own get out get out of here sit 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 uh 
for women, uh, I hear now that they're recommending that you bring your own bra because they're not making you wear the sports bras that you can buy at the PX anymore. Uh, so something comfortable, something like a neutral color is what I was told from my Discord. Uh, those go a long way uh, and probably a lot more comfortable than something you buy at basic training, right? Uh, I would also say maybe a good lock, you know, a combination lock for your locker. That way you can secure your stuff. You don't have to worry about people stealing your things. You don't have to wait until you go to the shop bet uh, for, to buy one. So that'll come in handy. Um, and those are just like the main things that I recommend. A change of civilian clothes uh, definitely would help out uh, just in case you need them. Uh, but... Uh, when you get to basic training and you do the layouts, all this stuff, you, you, they go through your stuff, make sure you don't have any contraband, they're gonna take your bags and they're gonna lock them up for the whole cycle, guys. Like, literally, you're not gonna touch these bags. You will not see these bags at all, right? Um, another thing I was told uh, that you should bring and pack is a power bank for your phone when you do get your phones because finding a wall outlet can be difficult in basic training. Either they're all taken up or they don't let you use them. So power banks are very, very beneficial because they can charge your phone should they be running low at basic training whenever you want to call your parents uh, earbuds as well is something i was told uh that they should have brought um just because when you're on your phone call you want to be able to hear your parents your family whatever uh you don't want to, the noise in the background to be interfering uh right and that's just stuff i would personally take as well i would also take a good pair of running shoes that way you don't have to buy some at basic training just make sure they're not like super colorful or anything like that uh because you don't want to be going around basic with uncomfortable shoes you know for pt and things like that uh, they do help out and they are more convenient than having to size a pair there waste the time at the px buying those right um and what i mean by like the px or the shop at for those of you that don't know what that is it's pretty much like a little store where you can get all your necessities uh and about like day couple days into basic training you'll make a trip over there right uh and you'll be allowed to purchase uh, pretty much everything you're gonna need right anything that was on a packing list you may have gotten you will be able to purchase it there at the PX so you don't have to like pack the whole packing list go to basic training show up like you're ready for war right you can buy all that shit at basic training so i recommend doing that just take some money with you right uh or i don't know they still give you like the eagle cash cards or whatever with like a, a, a certain amount of money on it so you can go buy your stuff uh but if they do that you know use that buy your stuff at basic training take like maybe a backpack full of the stuff that i've list, listed previously uh and you'll be fine right uh but jumping into some of the discord responses uh, this guy says, take your own running shoes, uh, pack light, bring a backpack and not a suitcase. Agreed. Uh, this one says, bring motherfucking headphones or earbuds because you won't be able to hear shit on your phone call without them. Agreed. Uh, and then I asked a drill sergeant in my chat. I was like, hey, I know you were a drill sergeant. What would you recommend to a new recruit to pack at the bare minimum or any advice in general? And he said, I would say, keep it light. Uh, no need for much. The important things are hygiene items. Sometimes it would be a couple days before they are taken to the shop bet to purchase needed items. Also, civilian running shoes are a good idea. Most units are allowing them to utilize them instead of buying the cheap pair that will break down after a month. Also, females need to bring a bra. I know it sounds weird, but with uh, the new service uniforms, they are allowed to wear a civilian one instead of the sports bras they will buy there. Just ensure they are not some crazy color. Keep it a neutral color. So yeah, pre pretty, pretty straightforward, guys on that part right um this guy says they're gonna make you buy everything sometimes twice over so uh, earbuds headphones one or two changes of civilian clothes a small amount of cash and maybe some razors you like agreed uh power bank for your phone cough drops sugar free that shit was like currency in the bay and that is so true guys cough drops anything that like you can be used like that can be traded or like is kind of sweet i know they're sugar free but they are like money in basic training you can get people to take your shifts for those bad boys all that shit cough drops are a must so if you can buy some at the shop at do it if you can t bring some with you pack it you know go ahead and make sure they're sugar free though all right uh and then he goes on to say that's my input biggest benefit for me was the power bank and earbuds those were a lifesaver on the weekends when we got our phones and the charging cable slash brick too but generally pack light you will be buying most of the shit there and if anyone really genuinely needed anything either a battle buddy could spot you or a drill sergeant would take you over to the px real fast i liked having a key lock but it's up to personal preference so yeah so that that's that's a really good summarized uh, version of what you should bring and not to really worry about it don't stress about it and then this person also says honestly the hygiene stuff and more laundry pods would have been the only thing i would have packed more of 
Uh, yes, laundry pods do go fast in basic training, so keep that in mind. Uh, this guy says, I think we went every other week unless for whatever reason we were all really needed to go for something. Our drills made sure that we at least had the hygiene items we wanted, if only so they didn't have to smell our stanky asses. Yet yeah, you will make frequent trips to the PX, guys. It's not like you go at the beginning of basic training, then you never go again. That, it's not how it works. You do make frequent trips over there, especially when you got to get your haircuts, because you get your haircuts like I think every two weeks in basic. Uh, just depends this says a change of clothes hygiene stuff laundry pods battery bank charger earbuds wired for your phone a small amount of cash and some cough drops will have you covered again there you go uh, this one says running shoes hygiene products for a day or two and bring a small bag slash backpack i don't know if you guys can see the the common uh currents here but running shoes hygiene products you know charging bricks those things are coming up a lot uh, this one says, bring only what you need, one pair of clothes to change at MEPS, maybe one shaver, a small stick of deodorant. Oh yeah, and make sure your backpack is one solid color. I remember day one at AIT, I had to carry all my bags, nothing on my back because it was multiple colors. If you bring running shoes, you can't use them till AIT, uh, but that's dependent on unit per unit and leadership per leadership. So still take a pair of running shoes. And if you can't use them, you can't use them, that's fine. Uh, if anything, make sure your personal bag you bring is big enough to carry just random things for the transition from basic to AIT or OSIT uh, or your first duty station. You're going to need the space if you're not a good packer. That's true because you probably will buy things at basic. Maybe they, they sell t-shirts and pants and yearbooks there. So it's good to have a little bit of extra space. So don't overpack. Definitely keep some space available for that extra stuff. This guy says, I went to Fort Jackson. I packed everything on the list and 80% of it I never used. They literally forced us to buy Buy everything in the little reception px even if we already had it you never touch your civilian clothes until you get privileges at ait so aside from what you're wearing don't bother make sure to bring a power bank for your phone as you will never get a chance to plug it in anywhere aside from that you literally have everything issued to you to wear you will have to buy shower kits and shoes and toiletries it'll be way less you got to move around and ultimately hold over your head when we got to basic from reception we had to dump all our stuff out for inspection before going going to the CTA. One guy had so much extra and personal stuff that they gave us the three minutes to put back in the bags. He struggled to get it fit since it literally just dumped everything out. We all got smoked until he could manage to fit it in. If we could go back over, I'd bring the essentials I listed and get everything else shipped to me in AIT as I ended up getting my laptop mailed and a few other things. Pack light, you won't need it. Keep in mind, you will also have to take all your issued items onto your next place. Three duffels, already enough to carry, let alone two extra bags. We got issued PT shoes and could not wear anything non-issued unless TMC profile suggests better footwear. Everywhere is different, so take it with a grain of salt. I didn't get my Brooks until I got to AIT along with my Oakley boots. Man, what a difference. Uh, and that's that's pretty much all the responses I got, guys. You can uh, you know pick and choose what to bring, but most of them were pretty much the same thing through and through, right? So I guess if you want like a full-on definitive list, here it is. Uh, you know, a pair of running shoes, a good razor, hygiene products, so like deodorant, and you know, a couple toiletries that'll last you a couple like one or two days. Get the travel sizes, right? If you're a female, you know, you can take a bra with you for your new uh, service uniforms. Uh, you don't have to wear the sports bras anymore. Uh, just make sure they're neutral color. Pack light, you know, a small backpack, nothing crazy. Uh, change of clothes that you probably won't even need to use right important documents some cash power bank uh, slash charger slash earbuds right those help with uh, talking to people keeping your phone charged whenever you do get your phones in basic training and what if we had to throw a tenth one in there what would it be um honestly a lock right a lock if i didn't say that already a good lock a combination lock that you can remember maybe if you have on a key for it too but combination's good because you'll never lose the combination right just write it down uh and th that's pretty much it guys like honestly i don't even think i packed all of that when i went to basic training i took like a backpack a du I, one duffel and it had like the bare minimum inside if you're freaking out about the packing list you're worried just don't be worried i promise you guys it is not it's not anything to worry about like at all you're gonna be able to buy everything there at basic training as well as they'll probably make you buy the shit anyway even if you already have other stuff on the packing list right so just keep that in mind 
don't stress, you're gonna be okay. And with that said, guys, I just wanna give a big thanks to the people in my Discord that helped answer these questions, that helped uh, contribute to this video. Without them, I would not have been able to make this one, so thank you guys, I appreciate y'all. Thank you, the viewer, for tuning in and watching this video. If you're getting ready to go to basic training, again, don't stress about the packing list. Take the bare minimum. Uh, less is more, right? Uh, if you're new here, again, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to like it so it pushes out to a larger audience and we help other people out that are getting ready to go to basic training. Uh, they don't have to stress about it either. Uh, if you want to join the Discord and help contribute to future videos or just have your questions answered, the link for that is down in the description box below. If you want to support me more, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, shoot me a message. I try to respond to people on there as well, but the Discord is your best bet. Um, and yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Later.